Have you ever heard of an unlikely friendship between a magpie and a dog? Well, brace yourself for a fascinating tale. Picture this. A sunny day in 2020, Juliet Wells is out walking her rescue dog, Peggy. As they trot along, they come across a tiny magpie chick alone on the ground. Juliet named her Molly. Despite her best efforts, Juliet couldn't reunite Molly with her parents. So what did she do? She brought Molly home. And from that day forward, Molly and Peggy became an inseparable pair. Their bond was so unique, so strong, that Peggy, the English staffy, started producing milk for Molly, the magpie chick. Imagine that, a dog nursing a bird. This unlikely friendship was not only heartwarming, but it also became a sensation, captivating the hearts of hundreds of thousands of fans online. This was the beginning of a real-life Winnie the Pooh and Piglet story, captivating hundreds of thousands of fans online. But this heartwarming story was not devoid of controversy. It turns out in Queensland, keeping a native animal like Molly without a proper rehabilitation permit is a legal faux pas. Wildlife carer Kat Coax had raised the red flag about this issue, voicing her concerns about the Department of Environment, Science and Innovations, or DESI's, seeming inaction. She had been lodging complaints for nearly a year, frustrated by what she perceived as DESI's disregard for its own regulations. Her concerns didn't end there. Coax also criticized the exploitation of animals as mere clickbait, a trend she found disturbing. Eventually, Deacy did step in. They took custody of Molly, asserting that she had been unlawfully kept from her natural habitat. As touching as this story is, it raises questions about the boundaries between wild and domestic life. The story of Molly and Peggy takes a sad turn. Molly, our beloved magpie, now finds herself under the care of the Department of Environment, Science and Innovation. Unfortunately, her close bond with humans and domestic animals has left her unable to return to the wild. This is a poignant example of the potential risks wildlife face when they interact with domestic creatures. Behavioral imprinting, whereby young animals adopt behaviors from those they interact with, has left Molly ill-equipped to survive in her natural environment. Furthermore, there's always the threat of disease transmission, an invisible peril that can have devastating effects on both wildlife and domestic animals. It's a complex issue, one that underscores the delicate dance between human intervention and wildlife conservation. The story of Molly and Peggy, while heartwarming, serves as a reminder of the delicate balance between human intervention and wildlife conservation. The tale of Molly and Peggy is not just a story of unlikely friendship, but a lesson in wildlife conservation. From this heartfelt saga, we learn the importance of responsible wildlife care. It's crucial to remember that despite our affection for these creatures, they are not pets, but part of the wild tapestry of nature. We must strive to increase public awareness about wildlife laws, which exist not to stifle our interactions with these beings, but to safeguard their well-being. The potential dangers of humanizing wildlife are real. If we blur the lines, we risk disrupting their natural behaviors and, in turn, their ability to survive in their native habitats. Indeed, the rules and regulations governing our encounters with wildlife are there to protect these animals from harm. They serve as a reminder that we are merely visitors in their world, not the other way around. As we continue to coexist with wildlife, May the story of Molly and Peggy remind us of our responsibilities and the delicate balance that exists between humans and nature. 